Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today, after a long while, we are back in Create the Sim and we are making Princess Anna of Arendelle. I think you all know who she is, but in case you don't, she is a character in the Frozen franchise by Disney. And in this collaboration, we decided to all make a Disney princess. And so I am making Princess Anna. This collaboration is organized by Sparkle Light Sims. I have been following her for a while and watching her videos. She makes great content, so go check her out. I will leave a Google document with everyone's channels, videos, and Twitter links in the description. And just leave all their names and channels in the description as well, so you can go check everyone out there. And there will also be a playlist that I will link in the upper right hand corner right now and also in the description. The description is the place to be, guys, okay? Before I continue, let's just address how weird sims look when you are making a character with a very unnaturally, well, unnatural human face, and you start by making the eyes huge, but the rest of the face looks still normal. It's just, she looks like an alien. She really does look like an alien. This is just strange. I promise it will look better over time. Just feature by feature, she will look more princessy. I guess. I was gonna say more human, but that's not true because Princess Anna and you know the characters from Frozen just don't really look like like normal humans too. So yeah. Either way, this collaboration was really exciting for me because the people in this collaboration really are awesome. This was one of the most positive collaboration experiences that I had. Like people were so kind and considerate of everyone and everything. I also was in a collaboration a while ago, like I agreed to join the collaboration and then people started just, you know, agreeing on things without even waiting until everyone voiced their opinion. And I was like, oh guys, this is not really how to do these kind of things. So yeah, all the people in this collaboration are just awesome like i swear these are very very nice people so go check them out and they're also all from like different nationalities like there's people from finland uk netherlands that's me uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> why did i do that like that that's so weird yeah either way united states and there's also someone from argentina and that to me is like super exciting as you can see at this point the sim is looking a bit more like a Disney character and not like a weird alien or something. And I had so much trouble trying to get the right like proportions right for her face because sometimes you are making a sim and you're just like something is off and it's because the proportions aren't right. But then with this sim, the proportions aren't supposed to be right. So that made things a little bit more difficult, but I think I succeeded quite nicely. What's funny to me is that I am a big Disney fan. I really like Disney movies and all the stuff that, you know, all the Disney stuff. But as a kid, I wasn't a big fan of the princesses and I wasn't like a cutesy kid. I enjoyed things with, like movies with animals lots more than I did enjoy movies with princesses. My favorites are The Lion King, Brother Bear, The Jungle Book, those kind of movies. But I did enjoy Cinderella because of the mice. <laughs> and I enjoyed The Little Mermaid because of all the fish. And here I am making princesses and it's so much fun. Also Frozen is, those are like movies that released when I was a bit older so I wasn't really following the movies anymore but I watched Frozen 2 not long ago with my boyfriend and I really liked it I liked the story like it wouldn't be my favorite movie ever or something but I think they really matured the plot and the characters and there are some elements that I really enjoy that are not typical of Disney so that's something I really enjoyed about Frozen 2 and you know the first frozen movie it's just cute <laughs> i really like the soundtrack by demi lovato i personally do not like the in movie version of let it go people love it i don't i love the soundtrack version that comes at the end with the what do you call them the credits with the one with the one that demi lovato sings i love that one but not the in movie one i don't know why 
I don't like it, but th that's just, um, that's the thing. In the comments, please let me know what your favorite princess is. I think my favorite princess is Moana. She is like a bad, uh, can I say that word? Character. <laughs> and I also really like Merida from Brave. Like she's so different and rebellious. And I think those are my favorite princesses. Uh, yeah, so let me know who your favorite princesses are. I'm really curious. I also have like very fond memories of watching Snow White on VHS at my grandparents' place. They had Snow White and The Lion King and also Harry Potter 2, but that's not Disney. But you know, those VHSs I would watch all the freaking time. Literally all the time. Every time I went to my grandparents, I would watch one of those videos. So... Yeah, Snow White is also a video I grew up with. I noticed I say video a few times. I know in English it's film or movie, but in the Netherlands, a VHS was like a video bond. So I automatically said video instead of movie or film. Forgive me, it happened. Also, it has been a while that I did a voiceover because lately I have been on top of things, actually, and I was working ahead of schedule and having videos planned and stuff, and it was all going very well. And then I went on a last minute camping trip. <laughs> so I kind of lost like five days there. And I also had to take care of my guinea pigs at my parents' place for a few days where I didn't have access to the Sims. So I kind of lost a week of time that I all planned to work on this collaboration video. So this one was very stressed and it has been two weeks like since I did a video. So it feels a bit weird to do a voiceover again, but it also feels good in some way. Leave a comment down below telling me if you go camping like I do or if you do not like camping because I have the idea that Many people these days are either staying in hotels or like renting a bungalow or what do you call those things? Just renting places and not really sleeping in tents anymore. Not that that's a bad thing, but in my direct circles, I know basically no one who still goes camping. And here I am being like a camping fanatic. I just love waking up and being in nature all day. And it all just feels so cozy, you know, sleeping in a tent and... I love making long walks. You know, in this this camping trip, we went to the northeastern part of the Netherlands and there was like forest and, oh gosh, there is this type of nature that I don't know what it is called in English. I'm gonna look it up right now. So I don't know how it's pronounced, but this website tells me that it's called like Heathland or Hathland. I don't know. It's like, it's with Heath. Like the, the purpley flowery plants. I literally have no idea how to pronounce the word heathland or something like that. Anyway, that that's the kind of landscaping we had there and it was beautiful. Like with the trees in the background and the purple flowers. I hadn't been to a place like that before, so that was really nice to see. Also, I am so glad the heat wave is over. I don't know if you know, but the last... Like, not last week, but the week before that, and maybe some days before that, there was, like, this massive heat wave in most of Europe, I believe. And it was so hot, and I can't really handle heat that well, so I was just... I was somehow glad I was working, because at work it was a little bit cooler. Like, there wasn't even an airco, but it was cooler than it would be at my own home, so... I'm so glad that that's over and that we didn't have that kind of hot weather when I was camping because we would burn. <laughs> we would literally burn <laughs> and couldn't do a thing because it would be so warm. So yeah, I also gained like, okay, disclaimer, I do not care about weight, okay? I do not care about anyone else's weight. I do not care about my weight, but I have gained like a few kilos since this pandemic has started and I really don't care about those few kilos being on me, but I do care about all my clothes being tight now. <laughs> so I took my favorite pants for vacation with me and I put them on for the first time there in a while. And I was like, "What is it that bad? Because it was just so tight. So yeah, you know, I uh, want to lose a few kilograms again because 
my clothes are tight. And I do not want to buy new clothes every time because I just don't like shopping. And I don't like buying unnecessary things. So, you know, before I went on vacation, no, before the heat wave, I should say, I started playing just dance like every week because I love dancing, but I don't have dance classes because it's the summer holidays. So I tried dancing for like five times per week or something. And I was doing like super well for, the, for a week. And then the heat wave happened. <laughs> and I mean, you can tell me to keep going, but I wasn't going to dance with 36 degrees Celsius, by the way. I just, uh, I couldn't. So I need to pick that up again because now the temperatures are acceptable again. So I should dance right now. And believe it or not, but before I started recording this voiceover, I had the urge to dance, but I couldn't because literally my whole studio is covered in camping stuff that we still need to bring back to my parents, my boyfriend's parents, and you know, wash all the dirty clothes. And it's a mess here, so I couldn't dance even though I wanted to. It's a missed opportunity. I will never get back, but I'll get over it. Talking about Just Dance, is there anyone else here who plays Just Dance? Or just let me know what other games besides The Sims you play, because I always love discovering new games and finding people that play the same games as I do. So yeah, let me know what you like to play yourself besides The Sims. Recently, I have been enjoying A Plague Tale Innocence. I've been playing it together with one of my best friends who also really likes to play The Sims and other games. And I thought it wouldn't be a game that I'd like, but the story is really nice and there is not much combat and I don't like games with a lot of combat and fighting and you know that kind of violence and action but this one is really story based and you kind of play through the story with these characters there's a little bit of a puzzle element to it as well which i really like but there's not much fighting and the combination of like a good story and not much fighting and puzzles is something that i really like i was afraid it was going to be scary but it's not like there is gore in there but i don't mind gore i just hate jump scares like don't ever tell me to play a game with jump scares that is something i just don't like i will you will never really see me playing horror games that's just not my thing dark games with a dark story that is fine that's something i actually like but just not jump scares please <laughs> if you are into horror games you can play those games without being too scared or if you are scared but you like being scared then you got my respect how do you do it can you teach me <laughs> because i am easily scared with games I am not scared by books. I am maybe a bit scared by films, but games, I do not know why, are so scary to me. I think, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I think it's because in games you are the one in control, and I can't really explain that any in, in, in any better way than that, but I don't think I like scary games because I am in control of the scary situation. And I don't like it. Nope. But A Plague Tale Innocence isn't scary and it's good. It's really good. I can recommend it uh, to anyone who likes story-based games and is not really into combat. Anyways, we are reaching the end of the video. Please let me know what you think of the result. Like, did I do Anna justice? Because it was very difficult to do her face because of the weird proportions and ratios and stuff. I think I did all right. And I was lucky to find some CC that, you know, really are Anna. So I am kind of happy with how it turned out. I recommend watching everyone else's video from this collab. They are amazing people and I'm so excited to see all their videos too. I will put the sim on the gallery. Let me know in the comments if you want a CC list because I can make one if you all want it. And yeah, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you aren't subscribed yet, but you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to see more of me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!